What's going on everybody here today with another Bodhi Shoe Mental Health video. On this channel I talk about my own journey to severe mental illness, mainly OCD and severe chronic anxiety. The title of today's video is What Role Should Caffeine Play for People with OCD and Anxiety Disorders? I think this is something that a lot of people with OCD and anxiety kind of struggle with because caffeine is such a big part of most the average person's life and a lot of times it was a part of our life before we developed OCD and anxiety and so we wonder you know should we avoid caffeine should I continue pr uh, the prior usage of caffeine um, before what role should caffeine play in the life of someone with OCD and anxiety and I think to really answer this question we really just have to like look at what caffeine is to come to that proper conclusion so what is caffeine Caffeine is a drug. It's a drug, and it has a stimul stimulating effect on the on the brain. Um, and it doesn't stimulate the way people think it does. It actually s stimulates through like some in inhibitory processes processes in the brain. I don't really understand it, but in short, it puts your body in a very mild state of fight or flight. For the average person who doesn't have OCD, who doesn't have anxiety caffeine gives them this illusion of energy this illusion of can do -ness, this kind of alertness and so people you know usually like to start their mornings and even throughout the day rely on caffeine as a pick-me-up as a way to feel alert and more cognizant to do the things that they want or need to do that's what caffeine does it's a drug it's a drug that aids in people's everyday lives with, for the most part, although a lot of people do can become addicted. I know my sister became addicted to energy drinks. Um, I think you have to think like any other drug. If you, it's one thing to have a couple cups of coffee today. If you need, you know, if you need, you know, I think the average energy drink is like 160 milligrams, like a monster, or that would be like about two two eight ounce Red Bulls. You know, I don't think that. Me personally, and I'm not a doctor, but I don't think probably more than 200 milligrams of caffeine or three cups of coffee a day. I think beyond that, I think if you get beyond three cups of coffee a day, um, you know, my question is why? You know, what, what what's wrong with one cup or two cups or three cups? You know, maybe, you know, what, what's wrong? If three cups ain't doing it for you, then I think you have to look back at your your overall lifestyle, uh, overall what's going on with you, and say maybe I'm becoming over reliant on caffeine. So it's a drug. So as a, from from a drug standpoint of looking at caffeine as a drug, it's not something that we need. It's something that we choose to or that we either choose or get into because of these type of effects, this type of can do this, this type of alertness, this type of focus sometimes that's created through cap through a caffeinated state and so for the everyday person for most people it's not a big problem and there's even some health benefits to coffee beans and stuff like that and the negative the negative side effects of of caffeine use even like most people that are you know even like a lot of people that do consume too much caffeine besides the actual addiction itself to caffeine uh the the, the the it's not a whole lot of negatives we're not talking about meth or fentanyl or anything like this we're just talking about caffeine so you know the the negative side effects are 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 nil so here's the thing when you have ocd or you have an anxiety disorder you're already in a chronic state of fight or flight right you're already way 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 more jacked up than the average person your nervous system is essentially on fire and so for the OCD or anxiety sufferer consuming too much caffeine throughout the day is going to be not in your best interest because what you're trying to do in OCD recovery anxiety recovery is you're trying to relax that's what mindfulness is. It's just the practice of relaxing into the present moment, accepting your thoughts and feelings in the now with everything else happening in the now. And over time, your mind heals itself and your, your mind calms down over time. 
And so if you were looking to calm down, you probably wouldn't take, you know, can overly indulge in a caffeinated beverage or any other stimulant that be Adderall or Ritalin or whatever else is out here. And so the approach is this, is that if you are suffering severely from OCD and anxiety, it may very well not be good for you to consume any, any type of caffeinated beverage. Or, you know, you should limit your caffeine to maybe one cup of coffee a day. But the main thing is, is that we don't want to avoid caffeine because we don't want to avoid caffeine. We don't want to avoid caffeine like uh, an obsession or something like that. We don't want to have this type of approach to caffeine like, oh, you know, it's it's caffeine and it it, it freaks me out and and I'm afraid of the symptoms. I'm I'm afraid of of the the increase in symptoms that may incur when when we drink caffeine. It shouldn't be this approach. It should just simply be that if we're gonna, if we have an anxiety disorder, if we have OCD, we're trying to relax, we're trying to calm our mind, then what we need to do here is just facilitate a lifestyle that, um, that, that, that uh, facilitate a lifestyle that, um, that nurtures that. And caffeine at this time for a severe OCD sufferer, or even somebody who's, like I've been in the last couple of years, a work in progress. This is probably not people, not the time to be indulging in too much caffeine. Well, later on down the down the recovery journey, like where I'm at now, I brought caffeine back into my life four months ago, and I drank about roughly two cups of coffee a day. I drink uh, usually. I just got done drinking a uh, a 12 ounce Red Bull, and, and typically I won't drink more than two eight ounce Red Bulls. If I drink this 12 ounce one, maybe I'll have a cup of coffee later if I want. But I have no more than typically around about 200. The most I would be interested in having just as a general person is more than around 200 milligrams of caffeine. Um, And I'm at a point to where I still notice the negative effects that come from drinking caffeinated beverages. I still do feel an increase in my symptoms. But my symptoms are to a point now to where, you know... I don't feel like I'm really pushing myself over the fucking edge over here and having my symptoms aren't like, you know, they're not being like pushed into another higher level. You know what I mean? Not not to something that's just completely, you know, it's not like unhealthy or unmanageable or something like that. So, you know, in short, you know, if you if you if you if you if you're trying to recover from OCD and anxiety, and you're in the beginning stages or even the mid stages, limiting caffeine for these reasons as a stimulant is probably a good thing if you want to bring it back into your life uh, later in the end stages of recovery or whatever. And of course, there's nothing wrong with that. We don't want to have a avoidance attitude towards caffeine in the anxiety sense where we're afraid of caffeine. Nor should we feel that we need to consume caffeine to not avoid it. If caffeine makes sense for you, then sure, consume caffeine. But if it doesn't make sense for you, don't consume caffeine. It's a drug. It's not something that we need. It's not something that we have to have. We have to look at the pros and cons of caffeine. Is it doing, is it benefiting us in our life or is it, or is it hurting us in our life? For the average person, most of the time, it's negligible. It either it just enhances, like I said, this state of this, it, it just enhances this can do this, this alertness. People rely on caffeine and it, it doesn't hurt them. Um, it may even help them in some ways. Um, but for us, we have to we have to answer that question. Uh, is this is 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 this is this helping us our overall where we're at? right now is this helping us is this stimulating caffeinated beverage is this really helping us and should we should we have it in our life or not and it's just that common sense approach that i think that we could all individually decide when we bring in caffeine into our life or if we cut it out or if we bring it in then how much caffeine should we really be consuming i hope this video finds you well 
Peace, y'all.